F8F Bearcat taking off. Howard Badu from Breckenridge, Texas, one of the premier Warbird pilots in the United States today. Flying the very beautiful and the very rare F8F Bearcat. Built by Grumman Ironworks. This aircraft is powered by a 2,000 plus horsepower Pratt Whitney R2800 engine. Wingspan that airplane is only 35 feet. The airplane is fairly short, 25 feet long. When it was used for military use, it carried 450 caliber machine guns. And they list the maximum speed for that airplane as 421 miles an hour. This particular Bearcat is a rare one because it's a prototype. This airplane at one time belonged to Smithsonian. And the Smithsonian and Howard got together. Howard had some very rare aircraft that the Smithsonian wanted. And they had a couple of Bearcats. And Howard said, I'll tell you what, you give me that, and I'll give you three or four of these. Pretty soon there was a deal struck. Howard took the airplane home and restored it. This is a one-of-a-kind Bearcat. It's the only one like in the world. Hi, I'm John Ellis from the Kalamazoo Air Zoo, Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I'm here at Elmira with a Grumman F7F 3P Tiger Cat. one of 382 that were built. This airplane was designed in 1941. It first flew uh, the prototype in 1943, and this particular aircraft was manufactured in 1945. The type was extensively used in Korea as a night fighter by the Marine Corps, and was replaced in the mid to late 50s by the, the Jet Evolution. Uh, the Tiger Cat was the most powerful fighter built in uh, World War II, and it has two Pratt & Whitney R2800 engines of 2100 horsepower each. See the uh, during our fuselage, it's uh, 42 inches wide at the widest point. My shoulders actually touch the sides of the cockpit. Uh, this is to, part of the low drag profile that helps uh, give you the performance that this airplane has with its uh, 4,200 uh, horsepower combined here with both engines. It's extremely slim, very low frontal area on this airplane, very fast. Well, you kind of fit in like a glove. There's just not much room to move around in the cockpit. Uh, you can't move your, your arms to reach around and grab anything, and you better have your charts pretty well uh, organized and memorized because if you drop them, well, that's it. It's kind of hard to reach anything around the cockpit that, outside of your flight suit. Back comes the stick. Up goes the tiger cat. Boy, look at that thing climb. Uh, unfortunately, there's only three or four of these tiger cats left in the world that will still fly out of the 382 belt. And actually, that's a pretty good ratio. There may be five Hellcats that'll fly out of thousands that were manufactured. Uh, but so I think it's important that these aircraft are kept in flying condition or taken around to air shows like the one here at Elmira this weekend. John comes out here and does what's called the cat turn. Uh, these airplanes shouldn't just be left to uh, road away and corners of old hangars will be melted down. I'm Tom Austin from Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm flying the Grumman F6F uh, Hellcat, which is here behind me. Uh, I kind of call it the uh, forgotten warrior of World War II. It was the Navy's premier fighter in the island campaign in the Pacific. Had a 19 to 1 kill ratio, and many, many people at air shows don't even know what it is when they come to see it. But this airplane was designed specifically to counter the threat of the Japanese Zero. Well, the Hellcat was a very well-armed airplane. It carried 650 caliber machine guns, which are mounted here in the wing and the ammunition was also carried in the wing. It also had the capability of carrying both under wing and under the fuselage bombs or rockets. He's gonna show you the aileron roll. Up comes the nose, and using the ailerons of the airplane, those little surfaces that move out on the wings, just rolls right around the center point. The pilot was very well protected. He had the engine in front of him, he had a steel plate behind him, and he had all these puncture sealant fuel tanks underneath him. There's no fuel in the wings, so the only way that you could really damage the airplane or get at the pilot was to have a direct 90-degree uh, deflection shot or damage the engine. It's a very docile airplane to fly if you treat it gently, but it can certainly growl when you ask it to. And I enjoy flying it. It's one of the greatest aviation experiences I've ever had. I've been flying this airplane for about 15 years, and it's, it's a real sweetheart. We take the Hellcat, the Tiger Cat, our bear cat and our wild cat, and we do what we call the flight of the Grumman cats. And I'll always remember that first flight uh, with all of Grumman's World War II aviation history on display at one time, along with an F-14. 
it's difficult to fly with tears in your eyes, but I managed to accomplish that task that day. It was a great day, and we've done it many, many times since then, and it's always a goosebump experience.